Hello. In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called set builder and interval notation. We're asked to graph an expression, and then we're also asked to write that set using interval notation. So reading the problem here, we're asked to graph the set, and the way that we would read this is all x's such that x is greater than or equal to 4 on the number line. And you may have heard me reference this before that since the x is written on the left hand side of the greater than or equal to sign it actually gives us a nice way to remember this because the greater than or equal to sign is going to point in the direction that our line is ultimately going to go. But before I get there, I'm just going to start with 4 because it says x greater than or equal to 4. I'm going to go out here to my position 4 and I put a circle to indicate that that's a point of interest, but it does say greater than or equal to. And since it has the line underneath that says 4 is a possible solution, I'm going to shade in this circle. And then as I indicated, that sign greater than or equal to is pointing in the right direction. It is going to be all values to the right of 4, including 4. So we've graphed the expression on the number line. We're also asked to write it using interval notation. So underneath here, I'm going to start interval notation. 4 is a point of interest, and it is the point to the left. So our left hand value is 4 and since it is included as a solution we're going to use the solid bracket. So that's the furthest value to the left. If we look to the right this arrow continues forever. So we can take values larger than 4 all the way to infinity and since we can't include infinity that's going to get the softer bracket. So interval notation is here written below the line.